All right, so this video is going to look at the improvements made in Caustic 3.2 to help with music theory for those who want to push it a little bit further or for those who don't have that much music theory and need a little help. We'll just pop down a synth for now and then we'll use that for our tests. Now let's go into the menu and go into scale here. So we'll click on this. Right now we're on C chromatic and that was the way Caustic was always set up before. And we'll see a list of scales and a keys. We can set our keyboard that's being displayed. And so we can map out to only include the notes in a particular scale. So let's say we'll choose D pentatonic minor. And so that gives us a keyboard that's got only the notes in that scale. And it shows you the intervals that are uh, used. Now you can create your own scales and uh, toggle intervals or you can make a copy of an existing one and then uh, modify the intervals on that. So now if we go back to the app you'll see our KS synth is using this D pentatonic minor as well as any other new instruments we play so they'll all be on that. The pattern editor also uses the scale that's uh, selected and so it helps compose and not put notes in that are outside that scale. If you happen to be outside the scale and place notes in a pattern. When you go back to your selected scale, it'll show the notes that are outside the scale as red lines. So those will remain as long as the pattern is unmodified. If you remove them and then reload the pattern, they'll be gone. And so those lines will no, no longer be there and you can no longer place notes on those. But it's up to you if you want to go outside your scale just for a few notes, maybe for artistic effect. So another feature of this melody helper is the ability to map MIDI white notes to scale. Because right now, if I play my notes on a MIDI keyboard, it's still playing the chromatic notes, even though they're not including, uh, included in this pentatonic scale. But if I toggle this one and play white notes again, So they're not actually playing the notes that are on the MIDI keyboard. It's remapping them to this scale that's selected. And so C4 on the MIDI keyboard is the root. And then everything up from that is up in order on that scale. And then down from C4 is down in order as well. So that's kind of useful if you're playing live and if you just want a little bit of help to stay in scale. So another improvement you might have spotted here is the ability to change the time signature. So it's not completely versatile, but you can go 3-4, uh, 4-4, four, 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 or 7-4 now, and all your patterns will follow that. So if I set it to 5-4, so if I go down to my pattern editor, you'll notice the pattern editor now uses 5 beats per measure. And growing the measure obviously respects that. And of course, any pattern you place in the sequencer will also play for uh, five beats on the bar. All right, so another feature that was often requested was the ability to modify BPM as the song progresses. So I've got a test song here set at uh, 102 BPM, and I'll just give you a listen. So I'll just place this pattern down and span it over four bars and so now we'll introduce BPM keying so let's say uh, at the end I want this to be sped up so I'll tap inside the ruler long press set tempo key and then I can set it to I'll just set it to faster maybe 150 set and it'll automatically put in a key at zero because it'll assume we started where the song was set to uh, but now we can no longer modify the BPM by here because it's now being modified by keys. So if we listen to that now. So you can place a BPM key at any resolution. If you want higher resolution, uh, you can use the piano roll. And then uh, from that point, you can use whatever increment selected. And so you can set, um, you know, if I wanted it to... Well, let's say I want it to stay at um, 102 BPM at this point up until right at the end where it just speeds up really quickly. 
um, I can do that now. And um, so I've just added a little key there. Keys can be moved and obviously they'll snap to the lines that are displayed. They can also be removed if you long press at the time where it was set and then set tempo key and then press remove. That'll remove that key. You can also modify the value that was there by doing set and then just changing the value and set again and that modifies that. So you can have as many as you want and change the tempo throughout the song and the song export will adapt to the song length um, being variable because of this BPM change. So that's it for the side of uh, music theory. And so there's other videos that accompany this for the other features that are new in Caustic 3.2. So check them out.